Hi, it's Logan from sleepopolis.com, and today I'm going to take a look at the Brooklyn Bowery mattress. I've previously reviewed a few other mattresses from Brooklyn Bedding, and if you're interested in checking those out, you can just Google Sleepopolis and Brooklyn mattress review, and it'll pop right up. I'm going to put the Bowery through a few tests today and give some general recommendations at the end of the review. However, if you're interested in a personal recommendation, please feel free to leave a note in the comments section with some information about yourself and some of your sleep preferences, and we'll get back to you. Now we're going to jump into the review with the construction of the mattress, and we're going to start with the cover. The cover material is a cotton blend. It's a stretch knit, so you can see it snaps back into place. You won't have to worry about it bunching up when you're rolling around on the mattress. It's got a pretty soft feeling to it, so it feels pretty cozy. So let's take a look at the layers of the mattress. The Brooklyn Bowery is an all-foam construction made of three layers and stands 10 inches in height. I've cut into the back of the Brooklyn Bowery to give you a better view of these layers. However, please don't do the same with your mattress, just take my word for it. Now the top layer, or the comfort layer, is made of three inches of Energex foam. It's a pretty soft material, so it is going to allow you to sink in for pressure relief. However, as you can see, it has a quick response to pressure, so you're going to be able to move around on the mattress without the stuck feeling uh, you might get from a memory foam, something like that. Now, another advantage of Energex foam is its ability to dissipate body heat, which is going to help you sleep a little bit cooler so you don't overheat in the middle of the night. Now, below that layer, we have two inches of polyfoam. This has a quick response to pressure as well. It's a little bit firmer, and its main job here is to transition you from the soft Energex comfort layer into the support layer or the base layer at the bottom. Now the base is five inches of high density polyfoam. It's a really firm material uh, and it gives the Brooklyn Bowery its shape and it provides support to the layers above it as well as some deep compression support to the sleeper on top. It's a pretty common layer in a lot of foam mattresses. Now that we've seen what makes up the Brooklyn Bowery, it's time to get an idea for the feel and firmness of the mattress. So I'm going to start by pressing into the cover. The first thing I feel is that Energex Foam Comfort Layer. It's pretty soft, so I'm able to press in pretty easily. It has a quick response to pressure, so it's going to give some bounce to the mattress. So I press in a little bit harder with both hands, add a little bit more pressure, start to interact with the Polyfoam Transition Layer, which lends a little bit of support as it eases you into that firmer base layer. So I'm going to lay down on my back. Now, now that I'm on my back, my weight's pretty evenly distributed across the mattress, so I'm not really pressing too far in. I'm really just interacting with that Energex foam for the most part. It's pretty soft, so I am able to sink in a little bit. It's filling in the space beneath my lower back, which is good for back sleepers. Now, again, the Energex foam is pretty soft, so to me it's giving this kind of like balanced foam feel for the mattress. Kind of a 5.5 5 out of 10, maybe a 6 out of 10 on the firmness scale. Uh, so just on the uh, softer side of a medium firmness, allowing me to sink in, but with the quick response to pressure, I'm able to roll around and change positions without having any kind of stuck feeling in the mattress, uh, so that's really nice. So I'm going to roll onto my side here. You know, side sleepers want to be extra conscious of an increased uh, pressure due to a higher weight concentration over, over lower surface area. Uh, it kind of causes you to push a little bit further into the mattress and because of that a lot of side sleepers will complain about issues at their shoulders and their hips. Uh, you know again I do feel like this mattress is a little bit on the softer side of a medium firmness uh, so I don't really feel too much pressure that's forming at either of those locations. I am going to take a closer look at pressure later on in the review. I did just want to point out for right now that I'm really comfortable on my side here. So I'm going to roll onto my stomach. Stomach slippers do tend to prefer a firmer mattress uh, as it allows them to keep their hips from sinking into the mattress, keeps their spine in a better alignment. You know, I do feel like this mattress is a little bit on the softer side, so my hips are sinking into the mattress a little bit, uh, but everyone can feel firmness of a mattress a little bit differently because of different sizes and weight distributions. So for reference, about 5'10", 190 pounds. But if you would like a wider variety of opinions on the firmness of this mattress and a little bit more description on the feel of it, you can check out our written review at sleepopolis.com. Instead of just describing the feel of the Brooklyn Bowery to you, I want to give you a visual representation of where pressure points might form while lying on the mattress. So to do that, I've placed a pressure map on top, and I'm going to lie down on it in a few different positions, and you're going to see the results next to me, ranging from blue for low pressure to red for high pressure. I'm going to start on my back. I'm 
We're all on my side. Try a few positions here on my side. Finally on my stomach. To give you an idea for the bounce of the Brooklyn Bowery, I have this 10 pound steel ball. I drop it here. As you can see, there's pretty good bounce to the mattress. That Energex foam has a quick response to pressure. I'm just gonna add some bounce so you don't feel stuck when you're rolling around on the mattress. Now we're gonna run a quick motion transfer test. I'm gonna drop this ball from heights of four, eight, and 12 inches. This is gonna simulate someone kind of rolling around in the middle of the night or getting into and out of bed on the other side. I'm gonna show you the results next to the next to me on the side here on the screen. And this is really the disturbance that's transferred from one side of the mattress to the other. In my opinion, these results are a little bit above what you'd see on other mattresses, other foam mattresses. The Energex foam is really responsive, so that's gonna transfer energy across, a little bit of disturbance across when someone's kinda of getting into bed and things like that. A lot of people buying a mattress will wanna know if they're gonna feel like they're sitting on top of or sinking into the mattress. So to test this, I've set up the Singage test, in which we use four balls of varying sizes, weights, and densities to simulate different body parts and see how far into the mattress they go. So we have a six pound medicine ball that's filled with sand, simulates a lighter body part. A 10 pound steel ball, it's the densest ball we use during this test. 50 pound medicine ball, it's also filled with sand, it simulates kind of a heavier body part. And finally, we have a 100 pound medicine ball filled with sand. If you're a bit heavier, it simulates kind of the center of your body. And on the six pound medicine ball, we have just a little over an inch of sinkage, two inches of sinkage on the 10 pound steel ball, four and a half inches of sinkage on the 50 pound medicine ball, and six inches of sinkage on the 100 pound medicine ball. And in my opinion, these are kind of average results uh, for a foam mattress. So, you know, it is a little bit softer. So on the heavier side, you are gonna sink pretty far into the mattress. Again, this is about what I'd expect out of a foam mattress. Plan on sharing your bed with a partner, you need to use the entire surface area of the mattress. Edge support is something you're gonna to wanna to take a look at. A mattress with strong edge support means you can sleep all the way to the side of the mattress with an even feel, so it's gonna make the bed feel a little bit bigger. Now when I'm lying near the side of the Brooklyn Bowery, you know, I get a pretty even feel over here. So doing a good job of filling in the space beneath my lower back as I did at the center, so that's nice. I sneak all the way over here, right up to the side of the mattress. You can see that it is compressing through the softer foams on top. That's to be expected. And you can see how it's contouring in my body, so that's nice. I'm gonna roll on my side and hang off the mattress a little bit. I still feel really secure in my position here on the mattress, and you can see compression again through those softer layers of foam, but that's to be expected. So I sit up on the side of the mattress. I think maybe putting your shoes on in the morning or getting into bed at night. This is a good job of showing what it's like when an increased weight concentration is on the side of the mattress. We do see a pretty good amount of compression as these foams are a bit softer, so I was expecting that. Um, just something to keep in mind. Just to give you some basic information about the Brooklyn Bowery, there is a 120 night trial period, a 10 year warranty, and shipping is free and it will arrive compressed in a box. Now who we think this mattress would be a good fit for is if you're looking for a great pressure relief. As I mentioned before, this mattress, in my opinion, is on the softer side of a medium firmness, so it's gonna allow you to sink in a little bit for some pressure relief, which is gonna be great for my next point, which is I think it'd be good for side sleepers. For a lot of side sleepers, pressure points at the shoulders and the hips can be a problem. However, I didn't feel any pressure in those positions lying on the mattress, and we didn't see any increase in pressure during the pressure map portion of the review. And finally, I would recommend this mattress if you're looking for a mattress with bounce. The Energex foam has a quick response to pressure, so even though I was sinking in, getting some good pressure relief, there's good bounce to the mattress, so you're not gonna feel stuck when you're lying down on it. Those are some general points, but if you wanna get a little bit more specific with some example people, let's say 260 pounds, a side sleeper, maybe you sleep with a partner. Instead of the Brooklyn Bowery, I might recommend you go with the Brooklyn Signature. It is a hybrid design, so it has some pocketed coils, which are gonna provide a little bit more support, which I think would be good for you. Now, if it's a 160 pound side, sleep, side sleeper and you're looking for a little bit more of a value buy, I think the Brooklyn Bowery would be a good choice for you. It's gonna allow you to sink in for pressure relief. It also comes in at a little bit cheaper than the Brooklyn Signature Mattress. Again, those are some general examples. 
If you're looking for a personal recommendation, please leave a note in the comments section below with some information about yourself and some of your sleep preferences, and we'll be sure to get back to you. Also, if you're on a mattress buying search, please Google Sleepopolis and Mattress Buying Guide. It's going to have a lot of information that'll be useful during this time. And also, please subscribe to the Sleepopolis YouTube channel as we're going to keep putting out more and more content that's going to help you with your mattress choice. So that's it for the review today. I hope it was helpful. Have a nice day. Thank you.